Good morning friends, my name is Ted and it's great to join you for morning prayer here in the prayer workshop. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't done today's readings yet, then now is an excellent time to do so. Go on. Take all the time you need, and we'll be here when you get back. Our verse for today comes from our first lesson, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. See, he is puffed up. His desires are not upright, but the righteous will live by his faith. Let's pray. Lord, our God, our Creator, Redeemer, and Sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness, now and forever. Amen. Yesterday we were complaining to God that evil was being allowed to run rampant. God replied by saying that he would send the Babylonian army to put down that evil. But that wasn't a good answer for us. And so we went back to God with a new complaint. Why is God using evil ways to get rid of evil? Babylonians aren't getting off lightly. They are as greedy as the grave, and like death is never satisfied. God has allowed them to scoop up victory after battlefield victory in the net of their armies, to the point where they now worship their own military might, hardly a virtuous tool for God to use for his righteous judgment. Yet in the midst of all this, God still holds out the hand of friendship. The righteous will live by his faith. One of the lines most often quoted in the New Testament, this principle applies both to nations as well as the individual. We live by faith, both as a personal soul and as a national body of people. Our command to pick up our sword and our trowel and build the kingdom of heaven on earth requires faith. Using the eyes of faith allows us to see past apostate Jerusalem and demonic Babylon. We are able to peer into heaven and glimpse the wonder of the depth of the riches of God's good and wise ways. The revelation is made plain. It awaits an appointed time and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come, and will not delay. What local and national problems are weighing on your mind? How much do you sense a greater presence of God's unbreakable promise of goodness through it all? Let's pray. <clears throat> My loving Father, Assure me of your goodness and your love. Keep my hands busy at your work, my eyes lifted up to you in faith, and my soul at rest in the love of your Son. In his name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. And in the meantime, may the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and to be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.